Oh my goodness, I believe that we are live, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my live stream, you guys. We are going to do a really interesting episode today. So interesting that you're going to want to watch the entire thing. I'm not kidding, you guys. This is going to be a good one. This is basically almost as good as spoofing to an event. That's how good the spawns are here. Plus, you have a chance to get Unknown, Lapras, and a bunch of other really good spawns. It's probably the best place I've ever seen to play Pokemon Go, and I'm going to show it to you today, so I'm pretty excited about that. How many people have we got watching? That is the question. Let's see if we get a couple of people on the stream, and I'll show you guys this really interesting spot. I do want to bookmark this spot, and uh, that will show you the cords, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the cords there. Um, the top one that says seawall drive 37 and negative 122 those are california cords those are going to be your cords if you guys want them for the video replay just go ahead and pause and you can get them pretty easily but we are going to hop right into the location this is berkeley california if you guys aren't familiar with this it is right literally across the bay from uh, Pier 39. It is so close to Pier 39 that you can spoof over there and the cooldown time is not very long. Look how close it is. It's so close. There's Treasure Island and then it's right over here. We're so close and it's a straight line across the bay so there's actually very little cooldown time compared to what a normal player would have to do driving in between them. So that's cool. What's up Johnny Mod? Welcome to the stream. So yeah, this is probably my favorite location in the entire game of Pokemon Go. I think it is a legendary location and I'm going to show you why. Let's go look at the spawns. I actually have caught unknown here you guys and I actually have Ooh, that's loud. I actually have caught Dragonite here. I actually have caught Lapras here. I actually have caught Dra uh, Dragonair here. I have caught everything that was in the thumbnail. Look, you guys, as soon as we show up, we got a full evolution chain, Electrode and Voltorb just chilling here, you guys. Just chilling. Electrode and Voltorb. I mean, it's just one of those places. The spawn here is legendary. Like, what is that? They're just chilling, you know? Like, it's just, uh, it's just got an Electrode there. Like, you guys, put a one in the chat if you've ever encountered an Electrode in the wild. If you guys have ever caught an Electrode, I'm very curious. Have you caught Electrode? I'm guessing that a lot of people have never caught him. He's common in um in the bay area but he's not really common anywhere else i want to see a one in the chat if you guys ever caught an electrode okay i should have told you to put the lightning bolt maybe i should just have the lightning bolt uh be the one i wonder if i can actually type that lightning no let's see bolt no i don't know what to type to get the lightning bolt one pokedex of course i don't have that in my pokedex on this account yeah you guys spoof stream I'm gonna show you guys the best place to play john spoofs all right, let's go ahead and move around just a little bit since we're going to have to move our GPS location anyway. And I'll just kind of show you guys uh, a little bit of what this location spawns like. We'll just come right on over here. Just a slight difference, but there'll be a couple more spawns over here. Yeah, some of you guys have actually caught an electrode legit without spoofing too. That's cool, Johnny Mod. Shout out to you. See, there's like three more spawns over here. I mean, it just clusters everywhere. Woo, yeah, you guys, I'm drinking some uh, organic cola. You know, my wife loves to keep me stocked on the organic colas. Let's see, Level Got a Gun. Uh, interesting name there, I don't understand it. But, uh, oh wow, I don't have Shelter on this account. Man, we're going to get a lot of Pokedex entries today. Uh, I can't figure out how to... Oh, it's Zap. Thank you so much, Johnny Mod. Thank you. You the man. You the man, Johnny Mod. You the man. All right, let's fix my location real quick. You guys know that Android spoofing is still really, really easy and really, really annoying at how tiresome it is. So yeah, that, that does happen. Um, let's see. We'll just see if it spawns. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I do want to catch Horsey. I don't even think I've caught Horsey or Psyduck on this account. So we're going to do it. Um, shout out to Damien. Um, who's Damien? That's a good... Uh, shout out to whoever Damien is, Mrs. Golden Fisherman. Big shout out to you being on the stream, stream sponsor. There she is. Thanks for hanging out. Yusuf said, I'm a spoofer. That's good to know, bro. I'm, I'm proud of you. Like, way to be, bro. I you do your thing, you know? Let's see. Do I even have a Voltorb? That's actually a really good question. 
How late are you, uh, Caden Bodeker? I just got started, my man. I literally just got started. We have 53 watching. You guys drop a like on the stream. It's gonna be a lit stream. I'll probably catch a bunch of Dratinis today. This spot is just like Pier 39, but it has more gyms, and it has, I think, uh, about the same number of Pokestops, if not more Pokestops. It's right next to a nest, a really, really active spawn nest, where you can pull hundreds out of whatever the nest is. So, you know, like, that's pretty interesting. Uh, it's just one of those things, like, wow, what is this place? If I move over, all right, let's go ahead and move because there's actually crazy cluster spawn over here, okay? It, this uh, this uh, western side of the um, seawall, whatever, uh, this thing, it's the bay, it's not the sea, all right? I should be more clear about that. I know my geography. It's not the sea, it is the bay. Okay, that's the bay, and if you were to look far enough, if you were actually there in person, you would be able to see San Francisco across the bay. So it's a really beautiful view. That's why I used to, you know, uh, that's why I used to come over here a lot in real life. I've actually done so many episodes where I came here in real life but uh, this is just an episode where I wanted to spoof here to show my spoof squad, you know, like what it's like. You guys, drop a like. This is a location I guarantee that you have never seen, and it's a very interesting location. We're going to play here for the whole stream because I think it's actually that good. And uh, drop a like on the stream. I got cords for you. We're going to get you guys a new, unique location where you can catch massively good Pokemon, and it's not going to be the same old thing Pier 39 and Santa Monica Pier. Not that there's anything wrong with streaming there. I like watching FSU stream like every single time that he streams there. It's a lit stream, you know? But it's like there are other places that are really cool to go. And, you know, this is one of them. So I definitely want for you guys to know about this particular spot. Let's catch this Pidgeot just chilling here. Not bad. Not bad. It's, I mean, it's a rare spawn. Counts. Shout out to Gautier Tan said, are you hacking? Yes, I'm hacking on uh, Android. I mean, I guess if you want to call it hacking. Oh, we got a Pokedex Pidgeot. I should really turn on a Lucky Egg and get this account to level 30. All right, guys, we're getting a Lucky Egg. I'm going to get so many uh, Pokedex entries today that we need a Lucky Egg. Let's turn on an Incense too, because I technically could Incense a Lapras while I'm here, it's within the spawn uh, biome, so yeah, you could. Oh yeah, I did miss a donation, sorry about that. It was $1, I kind of skipped it. Dylan Powell, thank you for the $1 donation. He is $19 away from getting himself some mods. So shout out to Dylan Powell, nice job. And you guys, let's drop a little fire emoji for that $1 donation. That is the first donation of the stream. Thank you, bro, I really appreciate that. First donator, that's my dude, Dylan Powell. Thank you, bro. Super lit donation. One dollar. Dab on that dollar. All right, if you guys want to dab at home, you can just dab it out. Nobody's going to stop you. Just dab. Oh, and we got another new Pokemon. I knew it was going to happen. I have a Dugong, but I don't have a Seal. That is how messed up this account is, you guys. Seriously. I also don't have a Slugma. Now, you guys see that pier right there? That pier is the Troll Pier. That's what we call the Troll Pier because in real life, that thing is actually closed off to the public. You can't get over there whatsoever, okay? So why does that pier exist and have so many Pokestops? Well, the Ingress community in uh, the Bay Area was absolutely legendary and they did so many amazing things like putting Pokestops all down that pier so you could walk down that pier and get yourself an amazing amount of experience and Pokemon spawns. However, the city of Berkeley does not want to continue taking care of that pier, probably because it's so ridiculously long and goes to nowhere, and they have decided to just put a big gate and close off that pier. Now, what does that mean for organic players? It means that when Unknown, Tyranitar, Blastoise, Lapras, all of the things that you would really want to catch, uh, when they spawn out there, you can't catch them, you guys. Uh, all the organic players call it the troll pier because you just cannot catch those Pokemon and it's like rest in peace There's an unknown out there, but it's illegal for me to go out there However, we can go out there with our magical spoof powers So we are actually gonna take a walk down that troll pier Which I have never done before in real life because it's illegal So we're gonna spoof down that pier and spin a couple of the gyms and uh, just see what it's like to play the game 
in the troll pier in uh berkeley california so that's gonna be fun and not to mention you guys this is one of the best places to play pokemon go in the entire world it's not a clickbait title i'm not kidding we get great 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 spawns here incredible spawns here plus there's good biome diversity so you actually get a good diverse uh, range of spawns so you're not catching the same thing over and over like you do at Santa Monica Pier and like you do at Pier 39 so it's actually a little bit more interesting let's go ahead and just move a little bit further up and see what we get for spawns there the reason I love this area right here, you guys, and the reason that it's better than Pier 39 and better than Santa Monica is because of the cluster spawn. I used to come here just so I could get the cluster spawn. I would literally pull off the highway while I was on my way to Alameda to play Pokemon, and I would pull off over here, and I would drive through here slowly and plus every single Pokemon on the way through, and sometimes I would get rare stuff, and I would find like Dratini and Dugong and stuff like that too. So those were good times, and it convinced me that this is one of the best spots to ever ever come and uh, I've just been kind of sitting on that information and not really telling the community aside from I did make videos about it but the spoof squad doesn't you know like um, the spoof squad doesn't really watch some of my videos you guys watch the streams I've noticed so I was like all right let me do a stream and show everybody this this super dope spot you know so this is the spot I'm showing it to you guys uh, if you guys want cords, yeah, Caden Bodeker wants cords. I'm sure you guys want cords. Let me hop over to my GPS app and I'll get you guys some cords. It makes me reset the GPS like every minute, so I'll do it in like a minute. If you guys do want cords, I'll get them for you. And yeah, remember not to spam the chat, you guys. We actually do have a lot of people watching, so you know, if you spam, it makes it hard for everybody to enjoy the stream and get their comment read. So please don't spam the chat. My mods will time you out. And I actually think that they have fun doing it. I really, mod, I think you do mods. All right, so they'll get you. They will get you. All right. <laughs> shout out to all my mods. Thanks to everybody who mods my channel. I really do appreciate it. You guys do such hard work. Shout out to Jay Preezy, Adam Clowery, my fearless stream sponsor. Adam, you can uh, you can spam those stream sponsor emojis anytime you feel like it, bro. It's uh, it's a privilege that you paid for, my man. And if you want to put some spam in there, what am I gonna do? Time you out. You're a stream sponsor. Couldn't do that. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just saying. All right, you guys want cords? I'm, my game is like not loading, so let me go ahead and come over here and get the cords for you. If I show you my favorites right there, the very top line, everything else is North Korea, or sorry, everything else is South Korea, but um, the very top line, see the cords? I'll say them out loud for you guys in case you want to write them down, so make sure that you have a place to write them down. Get your notepad on your phone or whatever, but uh, I'll say them out loud for you. 37.859. 794 comma negative 122.315899 hope that was helpful for at least a couple of people all right and let's just keep on moving up the coast basically you want to just move up the coast there's better spawns on the left side than there are on the right side for whatever reason although you do get a lot of spawns on the right side too so I do highly recommend walking the entire area but what I'm doing is slowly walking myself over to the troll pier and we're gonna go down the troll pier you guys know that my spoofing method sucks you can't uh, joystick on Android so um, yeah it's uh, you know it's just gonna be one of those things we're just gonna have to jump over and over and over so that's just how my spoof works but we're gonna do it anyway all right Johnny mod's got the cords for you there you go thank you Johnny mod appreciate that yeah I'm not gonna like type it all out for you guys you can I mean like I'm live you guys aren't you guys are just watching I'm like somebody else can type it <laughs> I gotta host the stream all right so there you go you got your cords <clears throat> let's see I really do want to eat a snack shout out to uh, DJ May Hemaz Shout out to Johnny Mod. Is that another Magikarp? Somebody asked, is the event live? Yes. You should be catching Pokemon in order to participate in the 3 billion mark that everybody's trying to get. The event is live. You should be catching Pokemon to hit the 3 billion mark now. They didn't ma really make that very clear, you know, in their, in their blog, whatever. But, um, yeah. Should be catching Pokemon. Event is live. Get to it. That's why I'm catching Pokemon right now. Participating in that event. Oh, man, I missed the Pokestop. Let's see if anything loads. You guys see all the stops out there? It's ridiculous. There's so many stops, and when you walk down that pier, you just get a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Damien is my son. Jono plays. I thought you had a daughter named Zoe. You have two kids, dude? 
That's crazy. This guy has two kids. Um, the game just like loves to not load, but I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the Poke Stops anyway. So let's just see. Look, if I don't confirm it in maps, it really doesn't like it. When I confirm it in maps, it seems to work. So it's kind of weird. Please let me spin the gyms. This is why spoofing on Android sucks. It sucks to move. Now, if you just want to go and catch one Pokemon, yeah, you, you know, like spoofing on Android is freaking easy. But when you actually want to like move around like joystick, so hard. And of course, that's how everybody plays when you spoof, you know, aside from me, I'm weird. I just want to catch one or two Pokemon here and there. Um, is there an event? Yes, you guys. I already did a video earlier about the event. I'm really not going to talk that much about it because everybody else has done a hundred uh, videos about the events already this morning. So if you guys haven't heard the news about the event, I mean, try watching like anybody's channel on YouTube, especially you could watch mine. I mean, I did just do a video about it like half an hour ago. So yeah, I would highly recommend watching those videos catching up there is an event um it's always funny who shows up on the stream um i'm like who are you dude like i don't even know who that is i've never seen that that person that's okay though shout out to justin alexander shout out to um alex jiv shout out to uh void ventures michael golden fisherman um how many emojis did he use Dude, you use too many emojis. That's why they got hidden. Too many emojis, my man. All right. We're like just barely not close enough to that Pokestop. Isn't that kind of funny? Um, okay, let's start walking down the pier. We're going to walk down the pier, all right? I probably did not need to close the game, but I noticed that it's a little bit faster that way. Johnny Mod, how far away is that Porygon? Thanks everybody for watching. We really are playing in the best place to play Pokemon Go in the entire world. I wouldn't clickbait the title like that if it wasn't true. It really is true, you guys. It's the best place to play. I don't see how there could possibly be a better place. This one has a nest. This one has rare spawns. This one has tons of Magikarp and it spawns Pikachu. So you could get both shinies here. It has tons of Pokestops. It has tons of gyms and the cluster spawn is bigger than any other location that anybody plays on a regular basis. So I do believe this is the best place to play Pokemon. And Caden, people put the cords. If you did not get the cords, it has been put multiple times. All right, let's cut this bell sprout because I guarantee I don't have a bell sprout. Now, if you guys just look around this pier, like behind where I'm standing uh, in the game, there's a ton of Pokestops over there. So you could walk down the one side of the pier and then back up the other side of the pier and then down the street to where like the entrance of the pier is. And then by the time you're done with all that, you can just go hit the cluster again and the cluster is going to have really good stuff. So it's really interesting, uh, like how much gameplay you can actually play here. You could go for hours and never stop and you would be catching like nonstop, like no joke. So it's really, really, really good. Um, you guys drop a like on the stream. There's four dislikes and I'm like, we need to drown out those dislikes with a bunch of likes. This is legitimately the best place in the world to play Pokemon Go. Aside from some of the malls in Denmark, honestly, those malls in Denmark are amazing. I gotta say they are so good. You know, malls in Denmark, shout out to those locations, but you can't just play Denmark all the time. You know what I mean? Like eventually you're going to catch enough Mr. Mimes and be like, okay, I'm, I'm done with you, Mr. Mime. I don't want any more Mr. Mimes, you know? So you'll just be done. Now let's go and walk down the pier. There are actually some good spawns um, down the pier. So let's just walk down it. It's probably going to be like a little bit um, like hard to walk down the pier, but we're going to try and do it anyway. If the game, yeah, the pier's is blocked off marco lotopus um marco octopus whatever your name is bro exactly the pier is closed off that's why we call it the troll pier i'm actually an organic player but i do spoof sometimes now on my streams because i notice a lot of people like to come and watch and i'm like if people want to watch i'll do whatever content you guys want to watch you know but uh yeah uh the pier is closed off right there when the in the point where i just jumped from the uh right before this jump uh, that's where the fence is and you can't get to anything that I'm at now or anything that I'm going to so that's why we call it the troll pier the troll pier because uh, it spawns unknown and stuff like that out in the water so I'm just saying it's uh, you know it's kind of crazy what spawns out there let's see sometimes so there's not actually that much stuff like right as you get into the pier 
And then as you get further down, it starts to get more interesting. Stuff starts spawning. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do a little bit of walk. I'm gonna catch this Mankey since it'll probably reset my spawns once I get out of the encounter with the Mankey. So we'll just catch the Mankey real quick. I don't even know if I have a Mankey to be honest, but look at the diversity of biome. We got a Mankey out here. You can get fight type, you can get uh, ice and water type, which is usually the rarest of the water biomes. There's a lot of water, uh, water biomes, but you don't always get the ice type Pokemon in them. So those ones are more rare. Yep, just like I predicted, we got a Weedle here. A rare Weedle has appeared. <clears throat> oh yeah, great throw on the Weedle. That's a trick shot. Thanks for the likes, you guys. We got 101 people watching. Thank you for watching the stream, you guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying. And uh, this is the real best place in the world to play Pokemon Go. I really believe that it is, you guys. I honestly do believe that it is the best place in the world to play. I can't think of a reason why it's not the best. Every time I try to come up with a reason, I'm like, nope, this beats that other place. Nope, this beats that other place. It really does beat a lot of places. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I think my buddy RJ is on like a retweet madness right now. He's just retweeted like 20 things. Oh my god, I think he's retweeting like mad, you guys. I think he's gone on a retweet storm. The man is retweet mad. Let me turn off my notifications on my phone. Uh, unless it's an unknown. Nope, it's just RJ. I'm like, RJ, calm down, man. Calm down. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Let's see what we got out here. Whoa, there's a Magmar out here. We don't have a Magmar. Oh, there's a Letty Bot out here. That's sick. All right, we're going to be catching some new Pokemon out here, you guys. No doubt about it. Let's go ahead and move ourselves a little bit further down the pier. It is such... It's just so tedious to do what I'm doing, but worth it. Okay, I should probably go like a little bit further then. I noticed if I can find a stop that I haven't spun and then I spin it, sometimes it makes the Pokemon load a little bit better. And I'm like, hey, if it works, let's do it. RJ is like retweet mad over here. Should we battle the gym, you guys? I mean, it's only a spoof gym anyway, since... It's only a spoof gym. It can't be a, um, you know, like there can't be any legit players out here unless they're breaking the law by coming here. So it, I'm only battling other spoofers. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I really don't feel bad about that. So yeah. Um, somebody said teleporting there right now. I just wanted to show this off so that people, you know, if you guys really like the, um, if you guys really you know, like what you see, you can teleport over here and just have one more place to play. Because I noticed that, like, the Spoof Squad, they all play that mall in Copenhagen. Now you guys are all playing Korea, that mall in Korea, which is super lit. Uh, everybody plays in uh, Pier 39, and everybody plays Santa Monica Pier. And I'm like, those are great locations. Nothing wrong with those locations, but this location is better. So I just think, you know, it's kind of like it's just interesting to me and I wanted to show it off to you guys just in case you're looking for like one more place to rotate in and keep it interesting for yourself not to mention you can catch uh, Lapras out here and I don't really believe you can catch Lapras in most of the other locations aside from you can catch Lapras at Pier 39 but not right at Pier 39 you can catch him near Pier 39 so you know that's kind of interesting you can catch him over like Pier 33 he spawns out on the end of Pier 33 a lot you know so it's not like it's impossible all right let's try that again you guys think we should take the gym you guys put a one in the chat if you want me to take the gym put a two in the chat if you want me to just keep walking down the pier i want to see some comments nato mom 62 what is up nato mom stream sponsor Oh yeah, I love when my stream sponsors come on. Feel free to spam up those emojis, you guys. 120 people are watching my stream right now. We always get a really big stream when we go spoof to an interesting location. I'm just saying, you guys, people really love to see that content. They don't care if you're spoofing or not. They just want to see what is possible in this game. And unfortunately, the one thing about this game is you only get to see the area that you play on a regular basis. And it's kind of like... And, you know, if you don't live in a great area, there might be places that you really want to see, you know? We're going to try and take this gym, you guys. It's a little bit tedious, as you can see, but we are going to give it a try just because now it's like I never, ever, ever spoof 
gyms ever just because I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't spoof the gyms. It's wrong. So I don't do it. But then I'm like, oh, everybody in this gym is a spoofer. I can play the gym. So this is kind of cool. Sparky Nato is here too. Sparky Nato. I like to call him Sparky Nato boy. I shouldn't though. Sparky Nato, dude, you guys, he has like 5k subs. Sparky Nato. Oh yeah. 5.6k subs. Keeping up on it. Dude, he's playing Draconius Go. Nice, bro. Uh, we're gonna give um, Sparky Nato uh, honorary mods. So welcome to the mod squad, Sparky Nato. You guys give him a sub. Make sure you drop a sub for him. The dude has a lit channel. I'm not kidding. 5.6 thousand subs. Yeah, he's doing something right over there. All right, drop him a sub, you guys. It's lit. While I shuffle my apps and try to get into uh, Pokemon Go, where I can actually do the, uh, where I can actually do the the gym raid. I want to trash this gym. It was already so weak. I'm like, I can do it. Let's do it. Oh, we got a Squirtle. It's lit. Let's go. Um, why can nobody get there without spoofing? So I was explaining this earlier in the stream, but if you guys just came to the stream, the reason we call this location the Troll Pier is because it's a super troll pier for organic players. Obviously, spoofers can go wherever they want, but organic players cannot walk out there because it's all fenced off. You cannot even walk out there whatsoever. There's a fence. It's illegal. It's dangerous. You could fall in the water and die. So no, it's like, it's super bad. You don't even want to go out there. So I'm just saying, um, that's why we call it the troll pier. It's been called that for a long, long time. Basically since the scanners came out, we've been calling it the troll pier. Oh, the gym is being battled. Let's hop in there. Let's see if we can get battle priority. Let's get battle priority. Now that now that I played this location, it's going to be so spoofed. I can already tell. That's cool though. I'm I'm glad to give this location some light, you know, because it is a sweet location. Okay, we're we're not going to be able to play the gym, you guys. So we're just going to move on. Okay. Uh gyms on on uh the Android spoofing method, it is so hard to play the gyms. It's nearly impossible. So, we're just going to do a we're just going to move over. Yeah, poof life. Hashtag #poof life. Poof life. Poofer army. All right. There's that slugma. Oh, there's my magmar. You guys, which one do you think I should Pokedex first? Slugma or magmar? Not to mention just like slugma and magmar just like hanging out in the water. I'm like, that that makes perfect sense. You guys, actually I was here. Uh, I got Michael Golden Fisherman to come here last night and he found an Electabuzz. I was like, yeah, Electabuzz just chilling in the water. It makes perfect perfect sense there we go great throw on that bad boy sparky nato 62 two dollars you deserve it thank you so much Dab. thank you so much sparky nato oh my god that was two dollars from sparky nato's account that's the one with the that's the one with the uh almost six thousand subs Keep it up, Sparky Nato. You're doing great work, dude. Everybody drop a sub. We got 120 people watching. I expect him to get 120 subs after this stream. All right, you guys, drop him a sub. He has a good channel. He plays probably all the same games that you play, so just watch his channel, all right, you guys? I watch his channel, too. I'm subscribed, and I have the bell on. Poof life. Oh, we got a magma. Get him, boy. Let me uh, fix the GPS before we look at him, because I don't like when it uh, when it shows the red error up there. You can't see certain stuff. Get that stupid error out of there. Ruining my game experience. All right, let's see if he was any good. He's actually one of my bigger Pokemon. He's decent. She's blown away by his stats. That's amazing. Fantastic. Uh, oh, somebody's got the shiny Gyarados. It's lit. It is lit. Let's let's battle it. Oh my god, let's battle it with my Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. Get him, Mime. Get him, Mime. Oh, battle winners have priority. Great work. Once you get that screen, you know you're a battle winner. Then you can get in the gym. Come on. Get me in the gym. Get me in the gym. <gasps> we got in the gym. Spoof life. Oh my god, we are on that spoof life. Should I give him a berry? 
Oh my god, yes. It's the first berry I've ever fed. I've never fed a berry on this account. Oh my god, spoof life. Oh yes, unknown. Who put the unknown in? Who put the unknown? Johnny Mod, yes! Johnny Mod, we're finally on the same team. We can play together. That is why this is amazing, you guys. Oh my god, spoofing brings people together in a way that Pokemon Go never could. All right, spoofing unites the gap between us. We can play together, Johnny Mod. I love it. All right, you guys, 125 watching. Please drop your elbow on the like button. What do I have to do to get you to do a backflip on the like button? Didn't I catch that Slugma? No, I think I went to battle like a nerd. All right, let's see if I can catch this Slugma. Shouldn't I bury him since I don't have a Slugma? Let's do it. Let's do it. Dab on the errors, I know. Dab on the mirrors. Oh, Slugma, terrible throw. Am I going to play Pixelmon tomorrow? Probably. I am doing a Pixelmon series right now, you guys, and I love it. So I would say go ahead and hit the subscribe button on my channel and hit the bell. We're playing Pixelmon. We're playing Pokemon. I'm even doing a throwback Pokemon Red series on the Game Boy. Can you believe it? He's doing everything. I know, I'm probably doing too much, honestly, but it is lit on my channel. Drop a subscribe and hit the bell. You might just find some content that you really like to watch. 134 people watching. Dear Lord, that's so many people. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I normally catch stuff that's better than Spinarak, but uh, I am just walking down this thing and catching whatever it spawns on my uh, on my incense. All right, let me um, let me just move a little bit further down the pier. Okay, let's go ahead and jump down the pier. See what else is spawning down there. Sm dude, did he really smart? Dude, Sparky Nato, Sparky Nato just smashed the like button with his elbow. I hope you didn't break your phone, bro. I hope you didn't break your phone. Please don't actually try to do a backflip on the like button, you guys. I don't know if you know how to do a backflip and you might get hurt. So please don't hurt yourself trying to backflip on the phone, okay? Thank you. Um, you guys want me to just like get an excellent throw on every single Pokemon? I could do that. If you guys want to see excellent throws only, uh, I do have the skills to do such a thing. Drop a three in the chat if you guys love the excellence. All right, one for nice, two for great, three for excellent. jono has got it for days. You know what you can do is actually set the circle. Did you guys see that sick throw? That's a trick shot. Oh my god, he jumped. Of course he jumped right when I threw it. Whenever they don't move, like if they just won't move and won't move and you wait forever and ever and ever, that means that they're going to move right when you throw the ball. It's ridiculous. Now, if you do set the excellent throw, it's super easy to get the excellent throw every single time. Sometimes I do set it when I really want to get that excellent. It's a trick that's worth doing, but this time I'm just going to try and pop it out there. Oh, it was so close. It was so close to the excellent. Oh my god. Thanks everybody for watching. 120 watching. I think the watch count is inaccurate because it just fluctuates by like 10 to 15 like all the time. I just can't believe it, you know. <clears throat> Unless people saw the ad and they were like, I'm out of here. I hate ads. I'm like, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and move a little bit down the pier because I want to spin that stop. And then we'll move a little bit further down the pier and see what else spawns. All right. Don't try this at home. Seriously, though. Seriously, though. Don't hurt yourself, kids. All right. Magikarp can do as many backflips as he wants to do, okay? Magikarp! jump all right but not you guys okay no backflips for you only magikarp magikarp do a backflip on the like button oh there's my ladyba that i don't have you guys there's a suicune route there's a suicune raid there's a suicune raid with seven minutes on it at the end of the pier you guys how troll is that nobody can get to that so troll they're like, that's fine. It doesn't matter if anybody can actually get to it. I should have thrown the excellent on that. My bad. <clears throat> All right. I know there's a raid at the end of the troll pier. I totally just saw it. I cannot believe it, dude. I honestly can't believe it. It's so ridiculous that they have raids down there. Uh, I can't do raids, you guys. We just got 1,300 experience for that. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's move to the next stop. There's clusters basically on all the stops so you just go from stop to stop now i mean if you guys can actually use a joystick more power to you i can't do that i wish i could but um yeah it doesn't work for me let's go just a little bit further all right and then we'll see if it actually loads sometimes when i can spin the stop it actually will work a little bit better 
Come on. If it never works, I'll just have to restart the app. That happens too. Not bad, you guys, though. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Keegan0727. Thanks for watching, bro. Shout out to Jesus Castro, Nato Mom 62 Buggy36 Plays, Sparky Nato 62 Drop him a subscribe, you guys. Dirty Birds 86 He says he misses the Magikarp jump stream. I know, bro. I miss it too. I mean, I don't know how I can bring it back just because it's like it, the game is over, you know? Like the game only has so many playthroughs and I already played it through twice. I'm like, really, am I gonna play it through again? I just don't even want to, but it was so much fun. So I do kind of miss it. I'm like, what should I do? You guys, I'm gonna eat a little nut bar here because I am extremely hungry. I'm gonna eat this little bad boy and then uh, probably be like a miniature, like a little tiny bit quiet over here, okay? So. Let me just go ahead and eat a snack so I'm not like super hungry. I'll catch all the Pokemon. I really want that seal. There was a seal in my thumbnail. I love seal. I was like, let me put seal in the thumbnail. Everybody loves seal. With those big googly green eyes. All right, isn't this cheating? I walk in the snow. Oh my God, no, I wanted to read his crappy comment. I walk in the snow, why can't you walk? It's always summer there. Bro, this location is literally like this location, I would have to drive like an hour and a half to get there and then, um, you know, spend all the gas. Like, I'm just showing off a cool location that I thought people would want to know about. I actually have driven to this location for multiple episodes. I just didn't do it for this one, so. It's not the end of the world, bro. I mean, if you walk in the snow, that's your choice. Nobody says that you're bad for walking in the snow, so why do you want to say that people are bad for not wanting, for like wanting to spoof? What's interesting is all the legit players who want to tell Andrew or who want to tell spoofers that they're bad, but there's nobody in the spoof community who's like, oh, legit players, you're so bad. Like, you suck, you know? There's like so much hate from the legit community, but everybody in the spoof community is actually really nice. So I'm like, I started spoofing because everybody was so nice in the spoof community and all the haters who want to be organic and hate on everybody. I'm like, sorry guys, I just can't get down with that. You guys aren't going to be good friends. I can tell, like, if you're going to be rude to somebody just for spoofing a video game, like, what are you going to do when you actually have a real problem with them in your friendship? So I'm like, no, that's fine. I'll be friends with the spoof community. They're nice. You know, I want to be friends with nice people who are respectful. Like this guy, this guy comes on and he's like, why can't you? He's like, isn't this cheating? I walk in the snow. Why can't you walk? I'm like, what? Just because you do something in your life doesn't mean that everybody else has to do it. You know, like, since when is it the rule that because you walk in the snow, everybody else has to walk in the snow too? I, I don't remember that being a rule for anybody's life, you know, that you have to do what other people do. So, yeah, <clears throat> just, just kind of interesting the way that the organic community treats uh, the spoof nation and then the way that the spoof nation treats the organic community, you know, there's a big disconnect there Some people have respect some people don't I Don't really understand it not to mention. How could it be cheating like what because I caught a shuckle? Um, oh, I'm such a bad cheater now. I caught a shuckle. Oh god I ruined the game for so many people because I caught that shuckle you guys as soon as we catch this shuckle like Morally, we are completely compromised. We are bad people. You spoofed. You caught a shuckle. Oh, oh dear, Jono. Oh dear. Morally compromised, all right? Chil hide your children's eyes. Jono's doing terrible things on the stream. Johnny Mod, where is that Ampharos? I don't, like, tell me the location. Because I really am going to catch this chuckle. <laughs> I can get an excellence on the chuckle. I know, I'm so bad. I'm a bad boy. Oh, critical on the chuckle. I'm such a cheater. Critical on the chuckle.
I'm going to go to the Ampharos. Johnny Mod really wants me to go there, so I'm going to do it. I pretty much do whatever Johnny Mod says on the stream. I should, I should just rename the stream like Johnny Mod told me to do it. Because that's basically what I'm doing the whole time. Where the heck is this dash? That one? Oh, it is that one. Negative 122, comma, 158328. Okay, this better not be far, homie. Uh, did I do it wrong? Must have done it wrong. 37.795327. 795327, comma. Um, is that not the minus sign? Dude, that isn't the minus. I don't know. Is that the minus? No, that's the underscore. It must be the minus. 122.158327. Two, two eight. Sorry, guys. Bruh, this is in Skyline. That is so far away from where we are right now. Look how far away that is from where we are. We're way over here. All right, we are over here. And he took us all the way over here. Yeah, bro, I'll just go catch an Ampharos on Skyline Boulevard. That's why I told you, tell me the location, bro. I know the entire East Bay area. There's not a single spot you could say in the East Bay that I do not know. That is way too far to jump, you guys. You guys, the entire East Bay area, like Lake Merritt, super lit. You could jump over here and have an amazing time walking around Lake Merritt, catching great spawns, and there's a nest. Uh, right here, Crab Cove, super lit. You can get unknown over here. This little spot right here is called Bellina. They they spawned two unknowns in a day the other day. I was like, or no, it was like two, two unknowns in a couple of days. It was insane. There's so many hot spots around this area that like you would never even know. This spot right here is the, uh, is the Navy base. Tons of spawns out here on the Navy base. One time I got a Galbat and a Zubat and a Crowbat all together. I got a video of it right here on the Navy base. So I'm just saying, there's a bunch of six spots that you can go. But right now, we are playing right over here. This spot right here, if you guys want the cords, I'll just give you the cords, okay? Cords to my spot right there. If you want the address too, it's the one that says Berkeley. Cords are 37.859794, negative 122. Point three one five eight nine nine. It's the cords right at the top there. All those other ones are Korea. Okay, that spot is legendary. You just hop right over here onto the uh, Poke Stop, and there's a crazy, crazy cluster spawn. It's my favorite. Okay, you, Blastoise at Berkeley University is not as far. We could jump over to Berkeley and get a Blastoise, especially since I've been waiting for a while now. Let's go look at the cluster spawn and see what's over here. Of course, it doesn't want to load. We're going to look at the cluster spawn just for a second, and then I'm going to um, hop over to the Blastoise. Oh, of course, it doesn't want to load. It does this sometimes. Usually third time's a charm. <clears throat> It won't load. Let's just wait for a minute. Maybe it will load. I'll do shout outs for a second. Hi to Luca Caccarelli. Shout out to Shark Stains. Elaine De La Torres. Or Elaine De La Torre. Shout out to Johnny Mod. Shout out to Brandy Rost. Yeah, it's my spoof account. It will not load. Shout out to Buggy36 Plays. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you guys want to shout out, just write the word hi in the chat. That's all you got to do. 
Just say hi in the chat. I'll shout out everybody. Sorry that the game is like not loading right now. It refuses to load, which is unfortunate. Thanks everybody for watching though. I do appreciate it. Well, we hatched an egg while we sat there and did that. That was the weirdest thing ever. Hey, Palm. Let's see if he was good. There's a cluster spawn. I want to see if it's a shiny magic carp. No, but I'll catch it anyway. You can never get too much uh, Magikarp candies. Thanks everybody for watching. Kind of a chill stream. We're just uh, exploring this one little spot right here. There are, I mean, there's a ton of uh, really great spawns nearby that I could go get off of the Discord for the East Bay Discord. If you guys want to play this area, there's also a scanner that you can use for this area to go and catch rares too. So just saying, that's always an option. Let's see um, if we move over here, if we get a little bit better cluster. Oops. Should be fine. I'll catch one of these guys. <clears throat> Excellent throw. Told ya. All right, you guys. I thought a couple people would at least say hi in the chat. I'm like, is my, um, is my chat not updating or something? Usually people say hi to get a shout out. Maybe I should refresh my chat. Let's refresh it. Reload. See, some people did say hi. Shout out to Shayna Ish. Shout out to Chiari Focus. Is this location better than Pier 39? In my opinion, yes. It has more stops, more gyms, and more spawns. So yes, in my opinion, it's better. Um, Void Ventures said, scroll up the chat. Yeah, I think it wasn't reloading the chat. Uh, Buggy 36, Pokemon Master. Babblefish dude, um, you can't hatch a level 30 Pokemon, so he said, is that a level 30 Apom? No, it couldn't have been. You cannot hatch a level 30 Pokemon. They hatch at level 25, I believe. Yeah, chat wasn't updating. Shout out, shout out to Christoph Hop. Shout out to um, Dirty Birds, yeah. Uh, shout out to Yandel Gaming, Jiren the Gray, Neil, Neil Battershill. Um, Adrian Martinez, X Moon Sheep, A Fame, Rebel Ace. Thanks for hanging out, dude. That's a lot of people who are hanging out. Remember to subscribe, you guys. I do content like this very often. I play a bunch of Pokemon games. I play Pixelmon. I'm just playing a ton of stuff on my channel that is Pokemon related. So if you like Pokemon, like me, you should just subscribe and hit that bell and watch all my videos because that's pretty much what I do. All right. Somebody said, how can you get Mewtwo? I actually did a video for how you can get Mewtwo, how you can get an EX raid pass. The way that I did it was by farming uh, raids on um, certain places that had the uh, EX raid passes already given out. So I just farmed those raids and it actually worked for me. I got my friend a pass by doing that and I've gotten myself a pass by doing that. So uh, I have a Mewtwo, my buddy uh, Avoli is probably gonna get one as well. And uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. My method actually worked. Derp Creeper says he's got a Tyranitar. If there's no Tyranitar at this location, Derp Creeper's gonna get banned. So let's go ahead and jump over to his cords. Let's go see, six, seven, six, five, five, four, seven. Let me type them right because I would feel bad to ban somebody if I actually typed them wrong. One, two, two, so let me see. Um, <clears throat> let's see, three, seven, point six, seven, six, five, four, seven, uh, negative one, two, 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 seven, six, eight, seven. All right, two, seven, six, eight, seven. If there is not a Tyranitar here, I swear I am going to ban you, my friend. Oh, look, he jumped me right into the middle of some water. How big is this water? Oh, he jumped me right into the middle of the bay. That is awesome. This dude's about to get so banned right now. Guys, watch this. You're about to get banned, my man, unless there's really a Tyranitar in the middle of the bay, which actually has happened. 
So let's go see if we're gonna ban this guys or not. What do you guys think? Should I ban him for jumping me into the middle of the bay? You guys think I should give him a ban for that? He jumped me right into the middle of the bay, but maybe there is a Tyranitar here. It's it wouldn't be the first time it's happened. I'm just saying. Um, and my game doesn't want to load because it should show nighttime right now. So let's go ahead and see if we can get it to reload before I ban this guy. Look, he jumped me right into the middle of the bay. That's not a classy move right there. He's going to get banned, but we're going to see if there's Tyranitar. You guys, Tyranitar can actually spawn right in the middle of the bay. It could happen because the way that the fairies move, there's spawns along the fairy line, and you actually can get uh, Tyranitar out on the ferry. It shows night, but I don't see any spawns. I'm pretty sure that's because there's no Pokemon nearby. Um, yeah, we're going to ban this guy. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I ban him? Ban, one for ban, two for no ban. All right, you guys, one for ban. Two for no ban. I'm gonna go find this guy's comment. I am gonna ban you. Oh my god, you are getting banned. Derper creep. There's those cords. He says Tyranitar. I'm like, I kind of want to try it one more time. I'm pretty sure it says that there's no Pokemon nearby because I'm literally in the middle of the bay and there's not going to be any Pokemon nearby. And then if that's not the case, I am banning you. What do you guys think? Should I ban him? Somebody already banned him. What? You took away my fun. Okay, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Because I didn't even get to properly investigate the location. Mrs. Golden Fisherman, you're stepping out of line, Mrs. Golden Fisherman. You're taking away my ban powers here. That's messed up. I was going to ban him, and I was not even fully decided if I was going to ban him or not by the time that she had done that. That is really messed up. Well, apparently none of your votes count because Mrs. Golden Fisherman has already banned him and uh, took away my, my ban fun. That's a little bit messed up. She banned him before we even knew if we were going to ban him. That is messed up. Yeah, he's already banned. What the heck? What in the heck is going on? Just taking away my authority here. <clears throat> nice clickbait. Dude, it's not clickbait. Look at this spot, okay? I'm about to teleport into this spot, which is the exact same spot that I put into the thumbnail. And watch what happens when I get here. It cluster spawns like crazy why because this spot is crazy lit if my game would actually load elite pete says nice clickbait you tricked me there really is a lot of good stuff that spawns here you can get lapras here you can get um let's see you can get uh dragonite here lapras here i got electrode as soon as i showed up that was random uh, you can get so much good stuff here. It's ridiculous. You can get Dragonair here, Dratini here. Look at the cluster spawn. I already cleared out a lot of the spawns. Let's go jump just a little bit further down. Just to see what's over here. Alright, let's go do that. Uh, Johnny Mod wants me to go get Blastoise. Johnny Mod wants me to go and get this Blastoise. I do kind of want to look at a couple more cluster spawns over here, but, um... Oh, it actually worked. Oh my god, the game actually worked for once. I actually haven't shown the other side of this area. It is a little bit different over on the other side. So let's just kind of put it over there. Alright, let's just move myself over to there. And I'll catch this stupid Spearow. I probably don't even have one. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I unban him even though he, he teleported me to the middle of the of the water? Should I unban him? What do you guys think? Drop a three in the chat if you guys think I should unban him. What do you guys think? Should we give him another chance and unban him? Since Mrs. Jiggly was since Mrs. Jiggly was his judge and executioner with no votes from the people whatsoever, should we vote to unban him? I don't know. He'll probably just jump me into the middle of the water again anyway <laughs> Jono I found a real Tyranitar those aren't even real cords that is stupid um those aren't even real cords I don't have 50 candies yet maybe one day I will uh let's go jump over to UC Berkeley where is it in UC Berkeley Johnny Mod I don't even want to go to the cords I can just navigate myself to UC Berkeley uh UC Berkeley right here okay the the Dragonair is probably on the water spawn inside the campus by the creek because that is where you naturally would get a, dra a Dragonair on the campus. What the heck? We're in Richmond. Oh my god. Okay, University. It zooms you in a weird way sometimes. 
Uh, the creek runs through over here. There's like a eucalyptus garden too. So we may find... Let's go to the fountain and see if Dragonair is over at the fountain. That's a pretty large jump, but um, I think we can do it. And then we'll see if the Dragonair is on the fountain. And if the Dragonair is not on the fountain, we'll go look at the creek. And then Johnny Mod, just tell me if I'm near it because I don't feel like typing in the chords. It takes forever. Oh, everybody wants me to unban him. <clears throat> they want me to unban him, you guys. Let's go find him and pull him from the ban, from the depths of the ban list that you can pretty much never get off of. My mods were going crazy. Let's unblock him. He's unblocked. Now, what was happening over here? Pidgey player, give me a shout out. That message is fine. Uh, can you shout out my YouTube? That message is fine. You guys are like really overkill on the comments. Maybe if they were spamming. All right, you guys. Thanks everybody for watching though. I really do appreciate everybody watching. I think we still have 130 people watching. That's lit. Oh my God, there's a magic carp. Let's see if he's shiny. He is not a shiny carp. Get out of my face, magic harp. All right, let's go see if we can see. There's a croconaw nearby. This is UC Berkeley, you guys. Uh, in case you didn't know, UC Berkeley is another one of the best locations to play uh, in the entire world. If you're looking for cool locations that you've never played before and you're just like, where's really great? Uh, look at UC Berkeley. This is more dense than downtown San Francisco. The people of Berkeley played this game so hard. I mean, Ingress. So they got so many different Poke Stops. It was actually ridiculous. So yeah, pretty amazing what they were able to accomplish in this game. And it, as a result, the best places to play are seriously uh, like in Berkeley, like on campus and a couple of other areas. Let's just go move around. I'm over by the, uh, by the creek now. We jumped ourselves over to the creek. I'm like somewhere over here. There's probably a dragon air. Let's see. Probably a dragon air somewhere. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a Magikarp. Let's see if he's a shiny. They just get Magikarp on campus like everywhere. <clears throat> All right. He says Dragonair at UCB. I should probably just hop to his cords. All right, let's just hop to his cords. Three seven point eight seven one eight three four comma negative one two two point two five three five five eight. Thank you, Johnny Mod, for some cords. I wasn't too far off. All right, I wasn't too far off. I'm a good guesser. All right. Let's see. Shout out to Ferdinand de la Vega. Shout out to, um, let's see, Giovanni de la Tora. Shout out to A Fame. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Shout out to Johnny Mod for all the chords. I really do appreciate the chords, dude. Oh, he got us a Blastoise. Let's see if we can spin the stop or if we jump too far. Whoa, we can spin the stop. We're catching a Blastoise. It's lit. So yeah, if you guys, I mean like, I know all the best places in the world to play. This is technically a stream about one particular location, but uh, I do know all of the best places to play Pokemon Go. And of course, UC Berkeley campus is one of them. Um, they are amazing, seriously. UC Berkeley has got some great, great spawns. I've come here many, many, many times uh, in person, but I only came here one time on video. I did a real, um, I did a real video where I was like, hey, I'm at UC Berkeley, I'm walking around, you know, like not a spoof stream like this is. Excellent throw, it's lit, keep it lit like Litten in the chat, you guys, as always. Keep it lit like Lapras, keep it lit like Blastoise. We only have 63 likes on the stream, you guys. I just caught a Lapras with, or a Lapras, I just caught a Blastoise with a Pineapple Berry. I would appreciate if you guys drop a like on the stream, okay? That was lit. He's a decent Pokemon. I mean, he's not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and teleport ourselves over to Johnny Mod's next set of cords. Um, he says that there is a Dragonair. Dragonair. Remember, Mods, keep it lit in the chat as always. That's what we're here to do. Entertain the people. All right, 2, 5, 6, 9, 2, 5. Now we're just hopping around, you guys. I showed you the best place in the world. Dude, I told you it was going to be on the creek. I told you it was going to be on the creek. I was hella right about that. Oh, I was right, dude. It was... Dude, I told you it was going to be on that creek. Lit like Lapras! 
Got him with the pineapp berry. Shout out to Clash with George Moore. Shout out to Christoph Hop, Graham Hutton. Got a shout out for all you guys, no worries. Uh, shout out to NATO Mom hanging out on the stream. Buggy36 is still here. He's been here the whole time, dude. You've been here like the whole stream, bro. Check it out. We have got... I love Dragonair. Whenever you teleport to a Dragonair, you're literally standing inside the Dragonair. And it looks so cool. So let's go ahead and catch this guy before he despawns. It's just inside Berkeley campus. Like, if you're just walking from class, from like one class to the next class, you would just catch a Dragonair and a Blastoise on this particular day. You know, like... If you want to pick a really, really, really cool place to go to school, UC Berkeley is where you want to go, guys. Best Pokemon Go gameplay on any campus that I have ever been to. And I have explored a lot of campuses on my Destination Pokemon Go series where I actually go to campuses and all kinds of locations to see if the Pokemon is any good there. Check it out. I got an excellent throw on that bad boy. I told you guys it's going to be the excellent throw live stream. We're going to excellent every single Pokemon. And I got two for you, big boy. You yeah! got two of them for you. I knew it was an excellent before I even threw it. Got, oh, I thought I got him. Oh, man. I got three excellents for you. All right, big boy. I got three for you. Let me fix my GPS. And then I got this third excellent for this big boy. Here we go. Excellent throw number three. Oh, I missed him barely. You guys saw it. It was barely. Lisa Glisten is here. Mystical is here. That's what's up. Welcome to the stream, you guys. Oh, can I give him that excellent throw? After all, let's see if I'm going to get another chance for it. Come on, big boy. Woo! Terrible throw. I threw short. He's hard to he's hard to pine up. Yeah, he will run. They have run on me so times, so many times with the pine up. But this one decided to stay, so lucky me. Pine up on the Dragonair. Pine up on the Blastoise. You guys know how we get down. Oh my god, I can evolve a It's a strong Pokemon. I sh oh HP, defense. Wow! Oh my god, two perfect stats! What the heck? It's a double XL! It's a strong Pokemon with two perfect stats. That means the third stat is like a 10 or something like that. It's a double XL. You guys, drop a three in the chat if you want me to evolve this double XL. Big boy. Oh my god, are we about to evolve? It's a two perfect stat Dragonair and I have the candies. Like, I have to do it, right? I don't even have a buddy. Maybe I should set my buddy as this Pokemon. I finally got one good Pokemon. Maybe I should do it, you guys. All right, you guys, drop a three in the chat if you want to see this Dragonair evolution and shout out to everybody watching too dude dragonair that is so lit that's lit oh my goodness we caught a sick dragonair that it won't be that good for anybody else remember i'm under level 30 you guys i am under level 30 that means it won't be that good for anybody else but it was good for me lit. thanks for all the comments spam you guys i really appreciate all the comments Mega comment spam! Spam you people! Spam! Within reason. <laughs> spam! Nice job, you guys. Nice job on the spam. I appreciate that. We got an evolution here. That is lit. He got Dragon Tail and Outrage. That's not too bad. Can't believe he's got two perfect stats. He's a strong Pokemon. I should be proud. Wow. I just can't even believe that that happened, you guys. He's a strong Pokemon. I have something to be proud of in this game, finally. All right, uh, let's see. I don't think that we have any more cords. Uh, Johnny Mod had a Dratini, and I'm like, meh, Dratini. So let's go back to my favorite spot, best location in the entire world to play Pokemon Go. This is the Berkeley Troll Pier, you guys. Berkeley Pier, otherwise known as Berkeley Troll Pier, because you cannot go out on this pier. It is a super long Pokestop filled place of joy, unless. You are not a spoofer because you cannot go out there. It's illegal. That's why we call it the Troll Pier. It's got all these amazing Pokestops, but you cannot get to them because of the fence. They've closed it off. It's illegal. It's ridiculous. So I'm just like, no, it's not lit. Like, let the people go on the pier. But I think it's probably dangerous. I think that they closed it off because it's, like, super dangerous. I'm really hoping we get a Lapras out on this spot just because I really want to see... Um, I really want to show you guys like how sick this spot is, but uh, so far the rarest thing that we got during this stream in this particular spot was uh, Electrode. We had an Electrode and a Voltorb that spawned at the same time right when we started the stream, so that was a good spawn. For some reason, right in this location, it does not want to load the game, and I can't figure it out. I'm like, could you just load the game for me? 
That'd be nice. Thanks everybody for the comments. I really appreciate it. We're going on an hour here. Not too bad for stream length. I think we'll play just a little bit longer and then I'll let you guys go watch some Sunday night television or something like that. Oh, we got a rare Pidgey. A rare Pidgey has appeared. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. There's a Pidgey. All right, you guys, let's get an excellent throw on this Pidgey, okay? I told you guys I'm gonna excellent every Pokemon. Come on, that was so close. Oh my God. Alex Jib says that there's a Pupitar. Um, let's see, what are those chords for, Johnny Mod? Uh, Dragon Breath is Legacy. Um, Lapras on the river in Folsom this morning? Dude, that's sick, what? Oh man, that's crazy. We never get Lapras, really. Let's go and uh, just look a little bit more at the back of the building. There's really good clusters in the back of the restaurant, basically, is where we're gonna go right now. So now we're actually like in the restaurant. We're gonna order a little bit of uh, appetizers and then we're gonna sit here and catch Pokemon for a few minutes. Let's see what's happening on my... Uh, Johnny Mod says, Dratini at the Berkeley Marina. That's where we are right now, you guys. Uh, let's see. Execute, Apom, Apom, Mischievous. These are all hundreds in my area. I'm not going to catch them, though. Perfect growl if I have enough of them, though. Uh, nope, nothing I need to check locally. The game just loves to never load whenever I change my GPS location. So I'm like, okay, let's just reload the entire thing again. Um... Shout out to Elias Martinez. Shout out to Jiren the Gray. The legendary Magikarp never fails. It's true. Uh, shout out to Justin Alexander. <clears throat> if it doesn't load nighttime, I know it's not going to load correctly because it's like, it's nighttime right now in this time zone. And it's not going to load. Let's give it another try. This method is honestly so grindy. Um, but you can do it. You can do it. I mean, if you want to play the game that bad and you don't mind doing the extra steps, you can do this. I love playing the game and I don't mind the extra steps. So I'm like, whatever. At least I can sit here and catch Pokemon like every few minutes. So you can see the cluster spawn does extend all the way back. I can't tell you how many times the spawns back here have actually been a Dratini or a Dragonair or something really rare. So we do end up like if you live in this area, you end up coming down here for good spawns really often. Somebody said, get through Dratini. Where is it? Can you just tell me where it is on the pier? I don't feel like teleporting to cords. It takes forever to type them in. Shout out to Michael Thigpen. Just got here. Yep, notifications on YouTube are 100% broken right now. They do not work correctly. And uh, I don't even get notifications for FSU right now. There we go. Excellent throw. I told you I could do it. Shout out to Sydney Hobby. Georgie Hamad. Uh, Jesus Castro, does anyone know of a Larvitar nest? Actually, downtown Folsom spawns a lot of them in my neighborhood. If you guys want to farm Larvitar, then you should be in the Discord, the Sacramento Ultramon Discord. They get so many Larvitar in Sacramento, which is where I'm at right now. I probably got, I actually just cleared a Larvitar that spawned in my neighborhood just a second ago, and I spend all day clearing Larvitar, 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 Larvitar. I just clear the notifications because I don't feel like going to catch them. But if you really want to farm Larvitar candies, you need to be in the Sacramento Discord. There's so many larvitars that don't pop on the on the ultra scanner because they're not good larvitars but if you just want to farm candies then that doesn't matter johnny mod's got a meganium in everyville that's actually not too far uh, i could go to emeryville it's not a far jump notifications have been messed up really badly yep mystical my dude Everybody who is a YouTuber is affected by it, and everybody who watches a lot of YouTube is affected by it, so it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, Doduo would have been my Pokedex Doduo, and he ran. Rest in peace, Doduo. All right, let's go and just check out a little bit of the pier over here. This isn't really the pier, but this is kind of like the parking lot for the pier, and um, there are some really good spawns, like, all up and down here, so... Yeah, we're just going to run right on over here and see what there is. 100% Abra nearby. East Sac has 100% um, Eevee that I'm not going to get. Let's get that Letty Bar. Why not? 
All the areas in Sackmons get Larvitar. Yeah, I only ca I only have Downtown turned on just because that's the one that I am like closest to. But yeah. You guys, how many people in here subscribe to FSU? Drop the number 69 in the chat if you guys subscribe to FSU. I know everybody here does, but I'm pretty sure that um, there might be like one or two people that haven't come here from FSU because you guys already watched me before. But uh, how many people actually came to my stream for the first time ever because of FSU? Put a 69 in the chat, you guys. Swagging on FSU, my dude. Swagging on him. I've got Dratini in this location so many times, it's ridiculous, you guys. Let's go, like, right over here to where the trail is. I've walked over here so many times, I mean, it's ridiculous how many times I've actually been over here. Let's go see some more of the clusters. 69, everybody came here from FSU's channel. I know, you guys, everybody subscribes FSU, everybody, uh, a lot of people are actually here because of FSU, but yeah, you know, FSU's the man. Love that dude. One of my favorite dudes. We have actually got 110 watching. Thanks everybody for watching. It never did spawn the Pokemon right here though. Let's go see if we can get it to spawn. I want to see if anything's over here. <clears throat> There's a Meganium. Johnny Mod's got a Meganium for us. I could jump over there. What do you guys think? Do you think I should get the Meganium in Emeryville? It's not that far of a jump. Lisa let me met me long before she subbed. That's interesting. It just does not want to load. Oh, long before I subbed FSU. Yeah, a lot of people have been here for a long time. A lot of people have been here for a long time. Lisa, since before she subbed FSU. Same with NATO Mom. Thank you. It just does not want to load. Let's go to the Meganium since we're just jumping in and out of the game anyway. Uh, Meganium's going to be a fun catch. Let's go do that. Uh, 845920. Comma, negative. 122. Point... 285459. 285459. 285459. Five, five, let's go get it. It's really not that far. Alright, let's go get it. Johnny Mod's been here for a long time. Yep, Johnny Mod, I remember for a really long time. Shout out to Caden Bodeker. He keeps getting his message hidden. Uh, shout out to Lisa. She met me with the Mills edition at Cameron Park. That was such a long time ago. Wow impressive the game's doing that thing where it just loves to not load on me so I'm like uh please load on me <clears throat> poof hype moderator Sylveon's here what is up moderator Sylveon Let's see if we can get this thing to load but yeah you guys I wanted to make a stream and be like look this is the best place in the world to play Pokemon Go and here's why and I think that I definitely accomplished that on this stream. This is really an amazing place to play Pokemon Go. And uh, the reason why is because the cluster spawn is legendary. It has a ton of Pokestops, so you can keep playing and playing. And there's gyms. There's more gyms than the other locations that people consider to be the best locations. And right next to this, there's tons of rare spawns in Berkeley campus. There's tons of Pokestops in Berkeley campus. There's tons of rare spawns and a nest right next to it. So honestly, I mean, it is amazing. You guys, look, I'm riding Meganium. Nice. All right, we're gonna catch Meganium. I think that's gonna be my last catch for the stream, you guys, and I'm gonna call it. We did an hour and 15 minutes in this location, not bad, but I do wanna go play legit, uh, play organically in uh, my neighborhood and get wifey into some gyms, so that's what we're gonna do. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and uh, drop a like on the stream. Those are the two most important things you can do. Subscribe, hit the bell, drop a like, because it is so lit. And plus, I do a lot of streams that you may actually want to come and hang out for. Just saying, you know, if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification that there's lit content going on. And who doesn't want to get that notification, you know? Larvitar in the Bay Bridge. Johnny Mod, that's so far, dude. He doesn't understand geography. Not of the bay, at least. The bay is so big, and the scan radius for their scanner is so huge that it covers places that you could never spoof from those locations. You'd have to wait for so long. 
I'm gonna throw an excellent throw on this guy, and it's gonna be right now. Booyah! Got him! Now, I deserve the catch on the first throw for that amazing throw. I deserve that catch, you guys. That was an amazing catch. I'm gonna hand it to myself. That was an honestly amazing catch. I'm just gonna say it. All right. Let's go see if it was a good one. Strong Pokemon. Defense. Excellent stats. You should be excited. All right, you guys. That was my last catch for this stream. I think that I did a really good job of showing you guys the best places in the world to play Pokemon Go. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like, Berkeley's the best, but this particular location in Berkeley is honestly amazing. And apparently, my good buddy DX1 is live right now, so I am gonna be migrating myself over to DX1 stream right now. Thanks for telling me about that, moderator Sylveon. If you guys wanna know where I am going, I'm going to DX1's live stream, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna open up his live stream and go find it so that I can give you guys the link because that is where I'm going, okay? I have the bell on his channel and it turned it off. That's messed up. DX1 is live right now. Um, let's see, go to this stream and say, Jono sent me. <clears throat> All right. Let's put it all in together, okay? Let's put it all in together, and then I'm going to spam my own stream, okay? Go to his stream and say that Jono sent you. All right, you guys? I am getting out of here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to all of my super amazing subscribers. You guys are amazing. So just head on over to DX1 stream. You will find me there. Let him know that Jono sent you. He probably has the most lit live stream that I have ever been to aside from my own. So I'm just going to say he's the man. Go to his stream. I'm out of here. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to all my awesome subscribers. And peace.